Hey TVs, it's Psyche Bob. Well, I just got my shower. I'm drying my hair. I never even use a blow dryer. I, I hand towel dry my hair, towel dry it and comb it out. That way it makes my hair softer. <laughs> Anyways, just uh, want to come and say happy vlog Thursday. Here we are. Got to give a big shout out. So many of you came out to yesterday's video. We had Wiccan Wednesday. We did a, a card reading from the Mystical Traveler Oracle. Or no, excuse me, the Sacred Traveler Oracle. But we did talk about mystical travelers. So if you didn't see that, definitely check it out. <laughs> you know, recently I showed you some of my new paintings, my new artworks. And I am continuing to crank out artworks because I'm redecorating my house and designing all the decor myself. And also, I just love to paint. I want to come and bring to you my new painting. Behind me here is my newest painting. And uh, the title of this one is called Lemurian Building Block. And the idea is like if you discovered an ancient stone from Lemuria, where the, you know, the ancient peoples of Lemuria lived. And uh, I'll give you a little tour of it here. Hold on, let's get a little closer. All right, so here's a little closer view of Lemurian building block. And uh, it's done on canvas, uh, and it's got a metallic silver base. And then I've got this beautiful kind of beige, like an almond color. It's kind of like, like looking through an etheric doorway, you know? And, uh, and then in the middle is the building block. And uh, this is a mixture of acrylics on canvas. And I think, I forget the size of this. I think this is 18 by 24. Yeah, this is 18 by 24 size canvas. But um, it's my newest in my, my abstract artwork series. And I thought you guys would like to see it. So there you go. What do you guys think? You like that? What's really funny about this is that middle, you see the, the uh, beige color here? It almost exactly matches the wall in my living room. <laughs> it's like, I didn't plan it that way, but it's kind of funny how close they are. When you see it in person, it's even more blends in. With the lighting here, it looks a little different, but it's almost the exact same color when you see it in person. So anyways, there is my newest painting. You guys like that? What do you think? Lemurian building block, it's called. All right, well, there you go. All right, we're in the elevator going down, 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 down. <laughs> All right, I'm crazy, but I'm having a good time. <laughs> Let's go on out the avenue, bitch. I need to get out of the house and get on with life. You know, the elevator came so quickly, I didn't get to do a fashion check, but well, we're gonna check it out. So. What am I wearing today? I got on a cool white t-shirt. I feel like it's warm and I just want cool white on today. I got on black jeans, which you can see a little bit of here. Oops, there's black jeans. And I got a new pendant, which I'll show you at lunch today. My shades, and of course, Sega Bob never goes anywhere without Louis Vuitton. So there you go. I think we're ready to go on the town. Let's go be seen. Ah, uh, Tubies, I am outside and it is beautiful day. Look at this deep blue sky. And there is our sun lord shining down bright and beautiful on us. I'm telling you, this is a great day to be out and about. So we're gonna go have some lunch. I thought maybe we go over and check on the moon temple today, see what's going on. I'm really curious about that. So we need to, need to check that out and see what's going on. I can tell you, I feel the green man outside today. It's definitely, spring is definitely getting here. So come on along. Oh guys, there's that some dramas going on. Here's our fire crew going down the road. I don't know where they're going. I hope not to my building. Uh-oh, looks like they're going to this building. I don't see any flames here. Uh-oh. Well, it can't be too serious because I don't hear any alarms going off. Maybe they're just doing a check. Well, we'll keep an eye on that. Huh, luckily, I didn't go to my building today. But I don't want anybody's building to burn, of course. Well, let's go on. I think I get some food. 
Well, it looks like the fire truck left, so I guess there's no drama at that building. Thank you, Lord. Anyways, it's just beautiful day. You can see how green it is out here. There's our sun lord shining bright down on us. We're at the noon hour. And Psycho Bob's out on the town. <laughs> I gotta get my hair cut soon. You guys want to go with me and get my hair cut? I probably won't do it today, but like next week I'll get my hair cut. Alright, well, we'll talk about that. Look at these beautiful spring flowers here. Are these incredible or what? Just lovely. And here we are at the magical gate, the entrance to Cameron Station. I love this community. If I had a lot of money, it's like about move over here. It's so beautiful, it's tree-lined streets and it's large homes. Just love it. You gotta be a millionaire to live in this community, though. <laughs> but Sega Bob's working on it. <laughs> Anyways, it's just good to get out and walk, isn't it? Oh, Tubies, look at this crop of Sorcerer's Violet. Do you remember me telling you about this? This is an ancient magical flower. It's got five petals like the pentagram. And this is just a beautiful, rich purple of this. And here's some of the younger ones. See, they're white, and as they age, they'll turn into that purple. Just, wow, I've never seen such a nice display of it like it is here. I love it. That is so cool. I tell you, the green man is empowered now. He's everywhere and reaching out to let us know that the earth is awakening. Mother Nature is alive. She's resurrected after the long winter. And boy, I tell you, it feels good. It really does. <laughs> and Tubies here, we're coming up upon another batch of Sorcerer's Violet. I've never seen that much around here. This beautiful. This one's kind of a pinkish color. I like the other one better, it's purple, but these are beautiful. I tell you, Sorcerer's Violet was used by witches of old as a kind of a manifestation. If you want to bring something into to balance, you'd throw that into your charm bag or your potion or whatever you're working on. So it has a history of being a magical flower. It's commonly called periwinkle is the modern name, but uh, the old witch's term is Sorcerer's Violet. I love it. <laughs> I tell you, look how beautiful it is here today. This is the gazebo in this community. Isn't that just lovely? Looks like a postcard, doesn't it? Picture perfect postcard. Cherry trees in bloom. There's some more flowers. I tell you, I, I just love this neighborhood. I, I walk here all the time. I just think it's a great place. I really do. And Tubies, look where we're coming for lunch today. The Indian restaurant, London Curry House. Looks like there's some construction going over there by the pond. Oh dear, I don't know what that is. Well anyways, here we are. We're gonna have some lunch. Come on along, say goodbye. It's lunchtime today. But here I am at the London Curry House. Oh, I got a delicious lunch. Look what I got here. Uh, I've got some chickpeas in a curry sauce. This is a wonderful dish. This yellow one's called alu mater. And it's like peas in an almond sauce with cheese cubes. And this is called chili chicken. And uh, it's actually a spicy type of curry chicken. Oh my God, I love it. And I got an iced tea. Sega Bob is living large! Woo! We love it! Ah, uh, Tubies, that was some kind of good. I uh, hear they put some dessert up there, so let's go find out what they got. Oh, look at that. They got dessert here. Okay. <gasps> There's what I've been looking for. Oh, this is rice pudding. It's an Indian treat here. Oh my God. I think I'm gonna have to get me one of these. That's going home with Sega Bob. Yum. <laughs> I'm like a kid in a candy shop. I really am. <laughs> if you want the definition of heaven on earth, 
It's sitting right here in front of us. This delicious cure, it's like a sweet, cold milk rice pudding. <gasps> Some kind of good. And I'm living large. <laughs> mm. That is darn good. Oh, sin of sin, say you Bob sin, because I got a second cure. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I love it so much. I had to have another one. Oh my God, this stuff is so darn good. And addictive and tasty. Uh, I'm going to pay for it tomorrow. But I'm loving it today. <laughs> and guys, I wanted to show you my new pendant I got. You know, I'm always collecting jewelry. I have cases of jewelry. <laughs> Luckily, my jewelry's not too expensive, so you know, I don't go bankrupt buying it. But this, oops, I'm dropping it here, is a mystical pendant of Odin. This is called the Valknut, which is Scandinavian, Swedish. It means the knot of honor. And it's actually three interlocking triangles. And this is believed to be a sign of the ancient Norse god Odin who was the, the All-Father, uh, kind of the equivalent of like Jupiter or Zeus in the Norse pa pantheon. But I'll just put it down here so you can see it. But you know how Bridget has the triple knot, the Celtic knot? Well, this is kind of the Norse version, which is the triple knot, but it's done in a triangular form. And uh, it represents the protection of Odin, valor and honor. It is believed to be used to honor, also put on the, the graves and symbols of the honoring the dead fallen soldiers. Uh, but it doesn't just mean just the dead. It also represents Odin, uh, the god, in his protective aspect. And around it here, it's hard to see here. My camera doesn't do well on close-ups, but oops, I'm dropping it here. It's got the runes. Hold on a second, guys. I'll get it together here yet. But it's got the runes around it. And so the runes, whenever the runes are displayed, that's a protective device as well. So this is a protection to evoke the power of the runes and the power of Odin. I think it's kind of cool. The Valknut, V-A-L-K-N-U-T. Uh, it's pronounced Valknut. So there you go. Second Bob always loves to be under the protection of the divine. Oh, guys, that was such an awesome lunch, I tell you. Oh, gosh, it looks like a rainstorm's coming. I thought it was going to be sunny all day. It's got really cloudy since since I went to uh, first walk out of the house. So, anyways, we're going to go down and go to the moon temple now and see if any progress has been made. Let's go check it out. Come on along. Oh, and Tubies, look what I just spied. Another batch of Sorcerer's Violet. I tell you, it's like all the rage in this neighborhood. Everybody's growing this outside their houses. This is like the third or fourth plot I've seen. Look at they got these beautiful flowers mixed in. Oh, just gorgeous. I'm loving it. St. Bob's having such a good day today. But we're on our way to see the Moon Temple. So come on along. I tell you guys, I think a storm is brewing in. These people's little lawn flamingos are blowing like crazy. It's getting awful dark over in that part of the sky. I think a storm's coming, and I wasn't even planning that today. Well, we'll get up here and look at the moon temple before the storm comes. Looks like they still haven't opened it. You know, I told you I spoke with um, one of the boards of directors of this community. Like the homeowners group and supposedly they they were unhappy with the construction work on this i i myself love it i think it looks like a ancient roman temple but according to the guy i spoke with he said that it was improperly done and it doesn't look nice i don't know i mean i, I kind of like it i don't see anything really wrong with it but then again you never know maybe it's different maybe they wanted it painted a different color or maybe they wanted a structure different I don't know, but it's still not open, so I guess we're not going to get to 
get to sit here at the moon temple today. But that's all right. At least we get to see it. And it is beautiful. And when they get it open, we'll come out here and we'll watch the moon rise. Do a little ritual. Did you guys like that? A moon ritual at the moon temple. I think we definitely need to do that. Here's the moon temple from the other angle. You see it's got this beautiful lawn and this park with it, some benches around it. It's just amazing. I, I just love it. I think we'll just sit down for a minute and just talk about some mystical things while we're here. We can at least sit outside the moon temple even if we can't go in the moon temple. So there you go. Here's a book I've been working on uh, this week called Witchcraft Today, 60 Years On. And it's basically, um, you know, 60 years after Gardner published Witchcraft Today, um, this is showing how Wicca has evolved. Uh, this book came out in 2014, and it was based on, um, in 1954, Gardner published his book, which was the first public book on witchcraft called Witchcraft Today. And this one is like now 60 years later. And it's really cool because it talks about how the craft has evolved since the Gardnerian beginnings. And it interviews different people that are practitioners. I really, really, really recommend this book. There's a story that I really like in this book. It's written by a lady named Maria Ead Weaving. And she talks about how she came into the Wiccan practice. I want to read a little passage here for you. In the early part of this chapter, Maria talks about how she discovered Wicca uh, during the time of her mother's dying from cancer and how her traditional Christian religion just no longer worked for her. And she went seeking the goddess and she discovered the dark goddess, which helped her to embrace the concept of imminent de deity, that deity could be here and now. Anyways, I want to read this little section to you out of that, that chapter because I think it's really beautiful. It talks about our kind of our own evolution. Okay, and it says, <clears throat> The mysteries of Samhain and the dark goddess were my entry points into the Wiccan path, the witch's path. Lessons vital for me to learn if I was ever to find peace, integration, and acceptance. My early contact with death had instilled in me a fascination with the shadows. However, none of us should ever become prisoners of a season. Life cannot thrive in a perpetual autumn or endless, endless spring. The wheel of the year taught me to engage with the challenging face of, with the changing face of nature and the flow of living reaching deep into the season at any moment to grasp its essence and its gifts. The search for gnosis, for, deep, for a deep inner knowing that witchcraft inspires, depends on some intimate interaction with these agents of change. The joy of this beautiful, elegant spirituality is that it encouraged me to strive towards wholeness integrating the lessons of wisdom of both the sorrow and the joy and in doing so discovering a more authentic relationship with life and self isn't that beautiful i think that's just a, a wonderful passage and you know this is why i i always say to people i want you to study the wheel of the year because the wheel of the year teaches us the seasons. And like she said here, you can't live perpetually in one season. If you live in autumn forever or spring, it's not realistic and you're not growing and harmonizing. And so I, you know, I celebrate the wheel of the year and that's why I keep a big tapestry in my room. And, uh, you know, I follow the Sabbaths and the Espats and the, the, you know, knowing what's going on. So now we're in spring, but this will fade into summer, which will fade into fall. And, and if we can reach into that, knowing where we're right now, we're in spring here. And so I'm awakening again, like as the earth awakens, I awaken. And we're going to go into the bright blazing heat of summer soon. 
And so it's a great time to reflect on the Lord and the Lady and how that works with us. Anyways, guys, just want to share the thoughts with you. I, I, I'm not being endorsed by this company or author, but it's called Witchcraft Today, 60 Years On. It's put out by, I'm not sure who it is, Moon Books. And it's edited by Trevor Greenfield. So anyways, check it out. Well, guys, it looks like a storm is coming in. So I'm going to go ahead and head on home now. But I want to just say thank you. Thanks for coming along on this adventure today as we explore the lush greenery that's unfolding. And as the green man and the green lady awaken. Anyways, I hope wherever you are, you're having an awesome day. And if, if you could help me out, like this video, favorite it, share it with your friends, hit subscribe, be part of our channel. And if you get a chance, pop over and visit my website, www.psychicbob.com. You can learn about my work as a psychic. You can get on my schedule for a private reading and uh, buy a book while you're there. So definitely check it all out. Um, for those of you who are interested in private readings, I do have some openings still. Give me a call, 703-825-3929. We'll get you on the schedule. Or check out my email links below, readings at robert-shickman.com. All of that will be in the info box below this video. But guys, thanks for coming along. And I hope wherever you are, as I said, you're having an awesome day. And uh, keep it here. We got more coming. Tomorrow is Friday. Free for all Friday. Ooh, we might have some more art for you tomorrow. And we're going to talk some more about UFOs. So make sure to be here. You guys are best. I love you. We'll see you then. And until then, may all of you always blessed be. Oops, guys, I got my days confused. Yes, tomorrow is Friday, and normally we do have Free For All Friday, but tomorrow I'm going to be making an appearance on the Kelly Coffee Show. I'll be there appearing live with Kelly. We'll be doing readings for everybody that write in the show. It'll be a live broadcast out of Dallas, Texas, so make sure to be there at 12 Eastern time, and uh, that'll be 12 Eastern, 11 Central, 10 Mountain, 9 a.m. Pacific time on the in the U.S., and then it's... Uh, It'll be at uh, 5 p.m. London time, 6 p.m. East, uh, you know, east of London, Paris, Germany, etc. So check it out. Be here tomorrow. Um, I'm going to put a link below to Kelly Coffee's channel. So tomorrow we will not probably be having our normal video because I'll be doing a live appearance there from 12 till 2. So come out and see me. You guys best love you like this video, favorite it, share it with your friends, and be part of Spirit Channel. Hit subscribe. Love you guys. We'll see you there. Blessed be.